Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Let's Play European Universalis 4 Make American British Again. Uh, one thing I want to go ahead and mention is that this part is probably going to be a fairly peaceful part, namely because we'll just be focusing likely on trying to get our manpower to recover. As a result of that, if you're not interested in watching me basically do nothing and just waiting for time to tick by, uh, go ahead, skip this episode because it's yeah probably not going to be the most enjoyable thing at the end of the day. Uh, we are having a bit of a problem when it comes to money, but I think that should resolve itself a little bit over time. So we'll just kind of let that happen. Uh, Syria wants military access. <sighs> I'm not going to do it with Spain. I'm going to go ahead and tell Brazil that I hate them and Do I want to go ahead and tell Russia I hate them too? Yeah, you know what? No. For now, we'll just sort of hold off on that. There we go. See, now we're not having any money problems anymore. And let's go ahead and issue an embargo on you. Do I already have my embargo on India? Yes, I do. Okay. And the UAE has declared me a rival. Okay, good. I can declare them one back. They canceled the military access with me. I have a truce with you, so I can't issue an embargo because for whatever reason that makes sense, apparently. You go for tra protect trade in Lubeck with the other fleet thanks game go and just steal my freaking manpower why don't you when I have none uh, no you, know, you don't need anything Ethiopia Besides, we just fought a war, why the hell would I give you military access? It makes no fucking sense. I need 130,000 men to deal with that. Oh, Spain declared me a rival, but I don't have Spain as a rival of mine. Because I just didn't feel like declaring a member of the European Union as a rival. Because of the issues that we'll have. How far out are we for you? Not that far, but it's still a decent amount, and I really want to get that lower. Because that is hurting our manpower recovery speed. Uh, what's our prestige? Okay, it's already maxed out. I know just where to put these funds. Because, hey, we could use some extra money. I mean, we don't need it, but there's nothing wrong with a little extra money. Okay, we're about to finish annexing Morocco soonish. In January. Um, let's also go back through here. Merchants, you don't need to be at the top. Rebel factions, you don't need to be towards the top. Building ships, you don't need to be towards the top. Uh, you're having some problems there. Is there a better place to put you? Yes, right there. Army drilling for you. You don't have a leader. 
You don't have a leader either because I think your leader just died. Let's just have those guys all do training. Because there's nothing better to have them do. Force limit, I don't care for that. That decreases state maintenance. Ah, oh, fuck it. We got money, we don't really have anything to spend it on. Ooh, holy shit, what the fuck just happened to Russia? <laughs> um, okay. So, um, Russia was doing fine when I looked at them like a minute ago to see whether or not I wanted to go ahead and declare them a rival and then decided against it. Now they are getting their ass beat by China. Uh, I think again, in fact. Uh, China probably just declared this war recently. And they declared war on Mongolia, but Mongolia has their independence guaranteed by Russia. So, of course, Russia gets dragged in. And when Russia got dragged in, it's going to result in Russia losing land, potentially, to China. I say potentially, but I can pretty much guarantee you that they're going to lose land to China. If I was China, I would probably take this stuff over here. But knowing the AI, it'll probably decide to steal stuff, like, way over here. Because, you know, it can, even if it makes no sense to do it. Uh, that's a troop transport, I don't care for it. You protect trade in Lubeck. That should give us a little bit extra manpower as well because it's some extra territory. Iraq no longer considers Syria to be a rival. Spend some of our money to produce more nukes because apparently we need them because I think the AI is just spending military power constantly to build more and more nukes. Oh, my army up there actually got crushed so I'll have to build a new one. Uh, I'm going to steal one of my leaders from another army. Damn Egyptian separatists. We've been over this already, guys. The Suez is mine. Australia decides to go into a golden age now. I don't know if that's necessarily the best choice. The US, Brazil, and Spain just made more nukes along with Australia. And I think we're just really going to observe the ass whooping that Russia is going to be receiving from China because there's really nothing better to do right now. Uh, I gain influential trade family for trade power ten, uh, plus 10 in the Caribbean. Or I can gain a skill 2 leader. Do I actually have any here? I do, apparently. 21 somewhere. But, uh... Yes, it is comparatively a small slice of the pie to the point where you can't see it at all. 
Uh, but I don't really care for your crappy skill 2. If you were skill 3, maybe. So I'll just take that and it'll last me a little while, but it's still only temporary. There we go. Now I can see us. Just barely. Right next to Brazil. Well, between Brazil and the pirates, apparently. Uh, I don't care for any of these, but you know what? You guys are missile cruisers, right? Yes. Screw it. Just build me a random missile cruiser and I'll send it up there to join the fleet. Don't care for local sailors because I don't build up my military much. Eventually all those navies will actually get together. It's just gonna take a little while. Aha, the army of Ireland, which is not in Ireland. Uh, their leader has gotten slightly better at fire. So good for him. Also, Fire that guy, because I don't care about him anymore. Give me a new person there and set him to do drilling there. You are complaining about supplies. Go up there and then you can go back and deal with that. Okay, Kuban is having some annoying issues. They want to be a free nation. I'm afraid I can't let you be a free nation. Okay, now you go back doing drilling. Okay, we should get all the manpower we need for the citizens back. Or it's for the armies already out in the field, we just want to have a stockpile for a little while. More countries building more nukes because that's all they know how to do. Oh yes, and uh, now I'll focus on trying to find me a half decent uh, skill three military advisor. Preferably another disciplined one because I can't promote that individual because they're not of our culture group or religion. Oh, okay, no, it's just they're not a part of our culture group. It doesn't care about the religious difference, apparently. I thought it did. I must be misremembering, clearly. Build me more nukes. So I admit that I should probably stop building as many nukes and I should probably try and stockpile resources. Yeah, if I make uh, Fulani a promoted culture, I don't really want to though. It's only 1%. If it was more than 1%, maybe, but it's only 1%, so I'm not particularly interested. I might just say screw it and take one of the uh, morale of army guys. Considering the game doesn't seem particularly interested in giving me a skill 3 discipline. Don't know what those were rebels for. Uh, either Kenya or Uganda. I'm gonna go with Kenya. Because Kenya exists. Ah, I ignore them. We got quite a bit of prestige.
turn back around because we got some more. These are Tanzanian. And a couple more months. Because you had to go and deal with more rebels. Obviously, they can take a little bit longer now. And now, screw it, you go deal with it. Oh, wait, you're gonna have to actually kill them first. <sighs> go over here, deal with Kuban. Then deal with this. I'll send you up to go and deal with the Central African Republic guys. Uh, Turkey would like to have me give them troops because they're busy fighting a war against Azerbaijan, which has resulted in them being in a war with Turkey apparently as well, or excuse me, with Syria. Be hard for Turkey to be in a war with Turkey. Uh, for now, let's hold back on the building more nukes. Because I kind of need to get our army level up. Uh, wow, Spain's behind. Spain's at 93 right now. I'm making my way to 94 slowly, but nonetheless, I'm making my way to 94. Or excuse me, to 95. Good, you finally arrived. Go back to doing your drilling. Um, I will take the admin. How long does that last for? Ah, oh, it's 2128, so that should be enough for me to go ahead and get to Future Military 5, or Future Military 4, actually. None of those things are needed, because, yeah, we're still well under our limit. That gives me trade range. I don't know what trade range actually does. Because I'm pretty sure as a result of owning territory in pretty much every trade node, um, I'm able to trade in every trade node already. Trade range is really only useful if you don't have the ability to take land in a trade node. Because I'm pretty sure it's based off of you owning territory there. If you own territory there, the trade range is basically zero. Yeah, it claims the Caribbean is outside my range, but I'm pretty sure I could go, yeah, I've got a duty in the Caribbean, sending trade up to the Chesapeake Bay. Do I want him trading up to the Chesapeake Bay, or would I rather him go ahead and send it straight to Bordeaux? Um. That's kind of a question of who do I want to have of being able to make a little bit of money as a result of me pushing trade. The US or France and the European Union. Uh, sending it to Bordeaux forces it to go to Champagne or I can then send out like half of it it looks like up to the English Channel. Or I can send it up to the Chesapeake Bay where it gets pushed out straight to the English Channel. Uh, the US is there. In fact, they have the most power there. They're collecting that trade. I assume, are you collecting trade here, France? No, you don't have a merchant there. Neither does the EU, apparently. Spain is collecting from it, though. Yeah, European Union has 86% in Bordeaux. Netherlands actually has quite a bit in the English Channel.
There's nothing I can really do to deal with that, though, sadly. Merchants leaving, couldn't care less, apparently. Egypt. Your buddies with Kuwait. I still have a truce with you until... Uh, April of next year. When I might say screw it and declare war on you, but that might have to wait till the next part, unless I do this is a longer part. Uh, which I don't think I will because I've got a number of videos to render out. Mostly because I forgot to tell Stellaris to render last night. If I had remembered to tell, to, eh, if I'd remembered to tell Stellaris to render last night, I might have made this a longer part. Uh, I do still have to make up for a week though, because you guys didn't get a part last week, and that was just as a result of time constraints. So, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and build me an army back up there. Because I at least need something up there to protect it. Assuming I ever remember to actually try and protect it. Build me two more. I don't like 118. It's such a weird ass number. Let's go with 120. Also, a game, if you want to, you can call that army the Army of London or something. Just so it has an actual name. Uh, apparently now the UAE is no longer a valid rival. Uh, concerning Russia's getting their ass beat, let's go with Russia. And, uh... Issue an embargo because why not? I don't know really how effective these are <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. Uh, we're reducing their maximum power in the following trade nodes by 48% in Lubeck. Are they even in Lubeck? Because I have a hard time believing that Brazil would be in Lubeck, yeah. So that's not really doing anything. Ah, uh, is Russia there? No. Russia is in the Baltic Sea, which I don't have any trade in. So I'm not going to do anything to hurt them there. In fact, I don't think anywhere that I have a merchant. I don't think Russia has merchants there either. So, yeah, we're really not doing anything to hurt Russia with the embargo there. India, I'm pretty sure, is the same story. India has probably got most of their merchants hanging out around India itself. Uh, did our truce with Egypt end early? Uh, yes it did, game. You said April. It is February. February is not April, last I checked. Okay, let's go ahead and move our troops. We're going to go into a quick war to finish off Egypt, because why the hell not? Uh, apparently we are just now creating the Bank of England. Oh no. Um, actually, yes, I think we are. Game, you say the Bank of England was founded in 1694. It is 2124. You're a little late to be giving me an event regarding the creation of the Bank of England. Or is this supposed to be some, the Bank of England is saying, if you do this, it'll help to deal with inflation that I we don't have. Oh, who is that? No fucking clue.
Okay, uh, I'm gonna have this part go for however long it takes for us to real quick go and kill off Egypt, because why the hell not? Uh, sure game, I don't have any inflation, but I'm kind of forced to institute this change. That you apparently think is a wonderful idea. Also, really Egypt? An entire army basically comprised of artillery. I think you're doing it wrong. Because I'm pretty sure that's not what you're supposed to be doing. But sure, let's go ahead. Let's finish off Egypt because why not? Can you not go there and then there? No, you can't. Oh, well. I'm sure you can deal with them. Yeah, because it's just an army of artillery. Artillery is actually pretty easy to deal with overall. Uh, you know what? Take these provinces. Go take their capital. Uh, leader must have all the power. Ooh! Lots of admin. Not that I need lots of admin game. I'll be completely honest with you, I don't need lots of admin. Let's go and lower some of those down, get us some more military. Because that's something I do need. That'll piss off some people. Most of them are already pretty pissed off at me though, so it's not like it's going to change anything. And I'm not going to go and sail around to the Arabian Peninsula to get to Kuwait, so... Uh, Kuwait can wait. So this part might go a little over 30 minutes just to wait this out. Because I sure as hell ain't going to bother going in there to deal with Kuwait. U.S. Held some elections, elected somebody. Uh, we must always attack that lasts for 10 years. I don't know if we'll be able to use it in 10 years. Uh, U.S. guaranteeing your independence. So if I were to go to war with you, I would be need to declare war on Iraq. But to do that, I have to fight the UAE, who I don't really want to fight, but to be honest, Probably wouldn't hurt too bad. Admittedly though, I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the past that I don't really care to go beyond... Oh, the US is uh, spreading democracy to Cuba. Uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned I didn't care too much to go beyond Africa. So this was like as far into the Middle East that we'd be effectively going. Oh, got some Iraqi peasants rising up. Kuwait, you can leave. I want you to know that. You don't have to sit here and deal with um, Egypt. I guess I could. If, if need be, Kuwait, I will come to you and I will vassalize you. I'm sure as hell not going to conquer you. At least not right now. But of course, by owning Kuwait, I am likely going to be dragging myself into more potential wars in the Middle East. So, you know, that'll be fun. My ports are blockaded. Oh, that's a decent sized Egyptian fleet. And I'm going to lose some ships. And I'm going to have to replace now. At least none of them were the transports. Uh, I have an imperialism against Vietnam. 
along with spread fascism. Does Vietnam even still exist? Okay, yes they do. But they've been basically conquered by Laos, who has also uh, doesn't own all of Vietnam. Some of Vietnam is currently owned by China. And Thailand is not doing particularly well. Uh, ban the publication because I have nothing to do with all that admin. Um, I assume Kuwait is marching their army through Iraq, through Israel, to try to get to Egypt. They didn't take into account that that's going to take way too fucking long. Okay, Kuwait, I've got a proposition for you. You are going to become my vassal. We are going to consider this a job well done. Okay. You become my vassal, and it's done. Egypt is getting annexed. Want you to embargo my rivals. Let's placate you a little bit. I'll send somebody to improve relations. I don't know where your army is. There, if you, do you even have an army actually? Uh, yes, you do have 19 regiments apparently. I don't know where, however, because all I see are your ships. Ah, here they are. Uh, yes, you were marched through the UAE to march through Ethiopia to march into my territory. Yeah, you realize how long that was going to take, right? You go to Gaza. And Iraq has entered a, coal a uh, coalition against us. I think Syria, Algeria, and Israel have joined. We're gonna have basically the same fucking coalition formed against us as last time. This time, hopefully, though, our troops will be better prepared for it. Uh, how does Ethiopia feel about us? They're not too bad. Let's send somebody to improve relations with them. Uh, I believe as long as they have positive relations, they stay out of coalitions. Yeah, no, you need tons of money. Uh, you can't, I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think these guys can do anything, actually. Uh, Europe should mostly be leaving me alone. Uh, can I bribe you to stay out? Uh, I need to send you, it's looking like about 25,000. Well, more than that, actually. I think. Yeah, okay, no, less than that. I would have to send you... 13,700 ducats. To get 25 relations with you. Fuck it, I'll do it. You'll stay out now because of... Friendly relations. Also, UAE, I'll tell you I want to be your friend. That should also make you a little bit more inclined to be willing to help me out. And by help me out, I mean just stay out of my fucking way. Um, Israel, Iraq, and Syria are too far gone. Same with Algeria. You know what? Sure. Italy, I will tell you, I want to be friends. Apparently, 
decent members of the, uh, looks like the entirety of the EU pretty much wants to be my friend. Except for the Netherlands and Belgium, which are apparently uh, threatened by me. Let's go down, let's go through here, let them know I want to be their friends. Am I missing somebody? I swear I saw a heart there. There we go. Guess it was you. Russia is basically just whatever. Also, it's a little weird that Sweden's not a member of the EU. Because... Finland and Sweden are far as I know. Norway, however, is not an actual member of the EU. But here they are. Apparently they decided to switch places with Sweden. Not quite sure what the deal is there. Uh, we can try improving relations with Iraq. I can say with a degree of certainty that you will not succeed in improving relations enough. Um, not the same story with Ethiopia. In Ethiopia, I think it's possible to sort of salvage this relationship, especially because they aren't as greedy. They're fine with just 2200, so that should ensure that my diplomat that's there will be able to get them up to positive relations which should prevent them from wanting to join the coalition. If they are in it, I think they will leave once they have positive relations. Uh, I think Iraq is partly just pissed off that it took Kuwait. They're saying, how dare you take Kuwait? We wanted Kuwait. But that is gonna be it for this part. Uh, yeah, we still have a ways to go for getting our manpower back, but we're making 6,000, almost 7,000 men a month. So, um, that'll be improved. Let's also get that actually. That would help a little bit for other things. Um, who are your friends? Comoros and Malaway. Don't know who Comoros is, but I'm assuming it's a little island nation somewhere. Hey, who the hell are you? Okay, yeah, it is a little island nation. I'm just looking on the wrong side of Africa. Uh, also, it looks like they use the exact same color, more or less, as Ethiopia. So I kind of thought that was controlled by Ethiopia. Or at least if I had noticed that, I probably would have first thought it was controlled by Ethiopia. See, Malaway, your only ally is South Africa. So it's sort of a question for which one do I declare war on? You have no friends. But your independence is guaranteed by Ethiopia. So unless Ethiopia gets into war with the UAE, which isn't going to happen because they're buddy-buddy with the UAE. Although they could get into war with Iraq, which could do it. It would just need to be drawn out enough to where their war exhaustion gets too high to where they wouldn't be willing to help Kenya out. Is that likely to happen? Not really. Although Iraq apparently does hate Ethiopia. And Ethiopia does actually apparently hate Iraq. In fact, Ethiopia has a rivalry with Iraq. It looks like it's the same both ways. So actually, it is a reasonable possibility that the two could get into a fight with one another. Um, but apparently they are capable of setting aside their differences when they're pissed off at me. Yes, I shouldn't be surprised by that though. Uh, we are ranked fourth overall. Not too far behind India though. Overall, well, actually, it's a decent amount. It's about 900 behind Ethiopia or behind India. Excuse me. Uh, we are pretty far ahead of Japan and Russia. Oh, what happened to Russia? Uh, looks like they did lose some territory, but not the land I expected. And for whatever reason, China just left Mongolia alone. What was your war goal? I don't know. Game doesn't tell me that info because apparently we don't write that down in our history books. 
that China declared war on Mongolia to do something. I don't know if Mongolia starts off as a socialist state. If they don't, then maybe China declared war to enforce that. But if I was China, I would have just fucking taken over Mongolia. It's small enough to say, screw it. And you clearly won it, because I think you fought a war for it twice now. And still haven't taken it over each time. Oh, it looks like you did take some land, though. Yeah, at one point. Yeah, but I would have taken all of this from Russia. Personally. Again, the AI would have gone, like, up here and tried to divide Russia in half. Because the AI has a fetish for border gore, it seems. As you can see with these ugly-ass borders for Iraq and Syria. But that is going to be it for this part. I will see you all in the next part. We will be... I don't know. We'll either be sitting it out, getting our manpower to recover up to its uh, 300,000 point. Or... We will be potentially declaring war on uh, somebody else in Africa, but not Ethiopia. Mostly just because I don't want to piss off Ethiopia. Since I'm trying to improve relations with them to keep them out of a war with me. Or, well, out of a coalition that's forming against me. Which, uh, for anyone that needs a reminder, is comprised of Israel, Iraq, and Algeria. Although nobody should need a reminder, but yeah. So that's our coalition against us. It's not a particularly powerful one. I think they're really hoping that the UAE, Ethiopia, and potentially Turkey were to get involved. But Turkey can't just yet. So, lucky me. Uh, the UAE is actually not that far off from not being able to join. But yeah, so I will see you all in the next part, but until then, a goodbye and a quick reminder that I do have a Patreon, so if you enjoy the content and you want to help support it, link to that in the description to become one. If you do become one, you get early access to all my videos uh, for this series in particular. Uh, it's basically five day early access because I generally will post the links there on my Patreon on uh, Sunday. So you get from Sunday through to whenever this video goes live on Friday, generally speaking, to get access to it. Uh, Patreon is monthly. Um, you only got to become a patron at the $1 a month tier to get the early access. You don't need to go for like a $5 tier or anything. Uh, but I do have multiple tiers for sort of slightly better rewards. And when I say slightly, I really do mean slightly because they're not that much better. Uh, but yes, so I will see you all in the next part, but until then, a goodbye and farewell.